Frisco, the folks in the Dallas Cowboys front office are already joking among themselves about how owner Jerry Jones is going to suffer through the first round of April's NFL draft due to the fact that he doesn't possess a first round pick, having traded it to Oakland last October in exchange for wide receiver Amari Cooper. Part of the fun, and maybe the part that isn't a joke, is speculating how Jones will be tempted to scratch that itch of inactivity by attempting to trade back up into the first round, using Dallas top pick, no. 58 overall, as part of the bait. More likely, though, Jerry will have to be pacified by the productivity of Cooper, and his dreamy view of his this coaching staff will use the 24-year-old Pro Bowl receiver. When you've got these top players, you use them in as many ways as you can, Jerry said. That anticipation of how he's going to fit in in the future really keeps me excited and doesn't make me miss that no. One pick, the greatness of Amari is what COO Stephen Jones was talking about last week at the NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis when he said, when the Raiders pick our pick, we'll be watching Amari Cooper highlight tapes. No, he wasn't trolling the Raiders, as is claimed in a headline at a Bama website. No, he wasn't taking jabs at the Raiders, as is claimed in a headline at Sporting News. No, he wasn't throwing shade at the Raiders, as is claimed in a headline at NBC Sports. He was simply celebrating what was and what Dallas believes will be. Dallas was 3-4 and had scored more than 20 points in a game just twice through the first two months of the season before acquiring Cooper, the former fourth overall pick from Alabama who is still just 24. Thanks in part to the talent injection from Cooper, the Cowboys vaulted to a 7-2 record the rest of the season en route to the come-from-behind NFC East title while largely fixing their scoring problems as they topped 20 points in six of their final eight games. They also registered a playoff victory and now count Cooper among their young star core players like QB Dak Prescott, running back Ezekiel Elliott, guard Zach Martin, cornerback Byron Jones, linebackers Jalen Smith and Leighton Van Der Esch and defensive end Tank Lawrence. To some degree, the Cowboys got lucky here, had the Cooper trade not resulted in a flood of victories, Dallas might be watching the Raiders pick it, say, the no. 10 spot rather than the number 27 spot that came in conjunction with the Cowboys' fine finish. And of course, there is a still work to be done and there is still judgment to be made. Central to the work, as it relates to the offseason, the Cowboys are working on a contract extension for Cooper as he enters the final year of his rookie deal scheduled to pay him $13.9 million in 2019. When that deal is done, Jerry will have even more reason to celebrate. Because in place will be a puzzle piece that he touts as a top player, while mentioning Jane Novacek, Emmett Smith and Michael Irvin in the next breath. The reference was a reflection of a recent visit with Norv Turner, the offensive coordinator on two of those 90s Super Bowl teams. Jerry noted that Turner was a master of putting those players in various situations to succeed, and sees Cooper in the same light. Our coaches have had a chance to sit back and look at what he can do, how he can improve in many areas of his game because he's going to be multifaceted for us, Jones said. He can have a lot of position flex for us. There are some things that he does, his ability to run routes, his ability to get out of routes, his size, the difficulty in bringing him down. Dot dot dot, we're looking at him all over the field. And that is the trick, Jerry's not wrong here, something he'll be reminded of constantly on the first night of the NFL draft, when he'll be so tempted to scratch that itch.